Zimbabwe is on high alert. The variant first discovered in India has led to the death of one person in the city of Kwekwe outside the capital Harare from COVID-19. A strict lockdown and curfew have been implemented there following the outbreak. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube has more for you tonight. The mining town of Kwekwe in Zimbabwe and surrounding areas are under a two-week lockdown. A 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew has also been implemented. This is to stop the spread of the deadly variant first detected in India. The government said the new measures in the area are needed. We need paper to be like that so that people do not spread it. Also, we need to make sure that those people in paper stay at home, masking up. Those in boarding schools must stay there, not visit home. And to the Zupco buses, transportation, people must be social distancing. The marketplaces, we want as few people as possible. We own bars, nightclubs, gatherings, church services. All those gatherings are banned. However, civic society and public health activists say the government should have imposed the travel restrictions on people coming from India way back. This uh, Indian variant could have easily been avoided if the government of Zimbabwe had put, you know, travel restrictions, you know, to people, you know, coming from India or even going to India and also making sure that those that uh, were coming from India were also put on mandatory, you know, uh, quarantine. Zimbabwe has over 38,000 coronavirus infections. The country's death toll is over 1,500. So far, it has vaccinated over 600,000 people. Pindai Dube, Harare, Zimbabwe.